What's going on everybody? Brett here, and we're back playing some more Heroes of the Storm. And the gods want me to play Li Ming. The Aram gods, so that's what we're going to do. And one of our buddies has Li Ming as well, so double Li Ming action. Let's see who the better Li Ming is. We've got a healer, Deckard Kane. it's pretty good. He can infuse his potions with mana for us, that would be nice. And we have a tank, and, you know, some... AD carry in the form of Vala, so a pretty pretty nice team. I would almost have preferred if our Vala perhaps had gone, I think there was a Muradin option. Having two really strong frontliners with two Li Mings is probably a nice strat. But wow, check out the team we're up against. Jesus, they have no actual tank, they have a literal tank. Um... Jeez. Zuljin and Zarya are probably the two strongest heroes in Aram. Uh, Zuljin because he infinitely scales his DPS. And Zarya just because she has huge range and support potential. Okay. So now we know that Sergeant Hammer has the talent that lets her go invisible. And we need to punish attacks like that. Man, I thought we had a broken team, but I didn't see our opponents. Oh no, I got hit with a grenade at the last second. It's okay. They have a strong team. This is going to be pretty brutal. Um, as we get later in the game, I'll get talents that will allow me to have longer range. Uh, the first talent I took is one that basically lets me have infinite mana. Um, it's very strong. There's never going to be a point in the game where I can't use an ability. Um, you can get low, but you're not ever going to run out. Just kind of the big thing. Let's clear the wave. Wow, we missed all. <laughs> it went right through all of them. That's rough. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure on us two Leemings to try and throw enough damage out there. There we go, like that. And then get our resets, but not let people like Tychus or Zul'jin just keep firing at us. But in the early game is where we'll be strongest. Because later on, Zul'jin will have access to things like Tazdingo, and there'll be some really strong talents that can kind of negate our slow and steady DPS. Yeah, we, we do need to be somewhat mindful of who's taking what potions, simply because our Imperius does need them. If he's going to tank all this damage for us, we need to be kind of supportive of him. One of the scariest moves on Zul'jin is definitely his, like, twirling axes. Um, but Li Ming, if you're very careful, you can play around them. If you find yourself stepping into them, oh god, that's so much damage. Ugh, you can teleport easily away from them. Okay. Let's see how everyone's doing. Vala's doing a lot of damage. That's good to see. Rough death there. Deckard at least is hanging back and not dying. That's good. I'm sitting at the most deaths right now, but I'm trying to be aggressive, but man, we just get blown up. It doesn't take too many attacks. How does this feel? Yeah, let's make sure we don't get hit by that. And if we can, we want to make sure that we're also... Throwing our abilities, see right there? That's just a complete whiff, right? But if we aim it so that we're always kind of shooting towards the middle, um, then at the very least, if we end up missing one of our spells, we can clear the wave. And I feel like without the wave helping them, they're a lot easier to focus and take out. Good idea from our Li Ming there to kind of check. And we may be in 
rough shape here. Now Zildjian's not going to chase. That's good for us. But we do need to go all the way around. And let's get it so that our orb does more damage for afar. It's going to synergize well with our build. And because we hit it from a very long range, it reduces the cooldown greatly. Oh, that was almost a kill. Please don't. Thank you. Alright. Gonna mount up. Good job, Vala. And in case he tries to run, we'll cut off his escape there. We'll see if he decides to siege up. Man. Their Zarya is really on point. And I desperately need some kind of healing. And let's discourage that kind of chasing. We should definitely go and get ourselves to the healing fountain. But we also want to make sure we're supporting Imperius, letting him get out. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Their Tychus is playing very aggressive. Those axes are super scary in the late game when they twirl twice. And that's all Zuljin's trying to do right now is stack. Oh no, we died. I went to go for the potion, missed it just a bit. And yeah, unfortunate. Wave of Force, I think, will be great here. It's really awesome against Hammer, especially once you get it at level 20. You get the increased range and knockback distance. Hammer goes to siege up, and you just throw Hammer out of the fight. And it takes him so long to break down and, and set back up. And it does decent damage. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty annoying ult. It's just going to continuously clear the wave, and it's something that we have to be conscious of so that we can dodge it. Let's pop that... Tychus back so we can't get as many auto attacks on our deck. Yeah, hyper aggressive Tychus there. And what we're trying to do is just constantly hit heroes at max range. Oh god. The vines are a super long ranged ability. Yeah, there's my buddy wants to play. It's gonna be good. Prolan is a good player. It's nice to have good teammates who really understand ARAM. Keep him in there. Throw our abilities, run back. This is a tough one. It's really just the battle of the overpowered heroes. And right now we're certainly the ones that are pinned in. And it really doesn't favor us, this kind of long game. That's nice top us off. They're probably going for their camps right now. Once we get the increased range on our on our orb we'll be fine. We'll be able to sit even further back. Let's empower our basic attacks. I think that's a pretty risky chase. We ended up knocking them a little bit further back into their base, but I don't think I don't think we had that regardless. That was just kind of my read on the situation, so I just wanted to do a little extra damage. Yeah, Imperius is a new hero. It's not uncommon for people not to like completely know what all they do. Here after all. 
Ooh, get out of there. Best change they made to ARAM was making it so that you can't destroy fountains. Far and away best change. Oh god, can we kill her? Yes. Yeah, we didn't need to do anything there. Great pick from our teammates. Sometimes it's just worth throwing the, the ult just to get the damage off the knockback. Alright, so we increase the orb's range. Let's not take that from Imperius. And it's pretty awesome. Right when you get the range increase, people have been kind of playing around, uh, you know, your range for most of the game. And then all of a sudden you've got this huge range that people find it hard to expect. Let's see if we can help take out that fort. This is bad. We need to get out of there. Okay, can we stop this? And we do have increased power on our, on our auto attacks. So whenever we cast a spell, we need to attack right after. Sometimes I'll cast a spell just to get the proc. Even if I know I can't land the actual spell itself. There I managed to land it, which is cool. See that right there? That did almost 400 damage. We just need to make it to the fountain and we'll be fine. I mean, we're doing great. We still have our fort up and we took theirs. Let's not stand in any poisonous lily pad looking things. And yeah, I'm sure he didn't see that coming. Oh god. Well, pretty smart from the hammer to make that, that ult go straight down the line. And they changed that ult as well. So that it doesn't affect buildings, I, I believe. I think it'll only hurt us and the wave. Which is a nice change. Before it was definitely overpowered. But this is where we want... This is where we want to be. We want to be besieging buildings. Your grave Throwing out huge damage. Keeping Hammer and everyone else back. And there's the Taz Dingo. Trying to keep an eye on what everyone else is doing. Yeah, we just almost straight up killed Zul'jin. No. Can we get a heal, brothers? Ooh. That was a close one. Let's see if we can get back in there. Alright, rechargeable. Potions is great. Yeah, we blow him up. Do not let him get Vala. I am so good. I astound myself. And every single orb we get, we want to put it into a building. Because at this range, we just do sick damage. But like I said, I think if this game goes very long, we just lose. We need to get the siege minions on our side. That'll help a lot. Keep pushing hammers down. That's good. Good plays there from Vala. Vala's doing a lot of work for us this game. GTFO that uh, that hole there. Ah, 
Yeah, sorry for the bad camera angle, guys. Sometimes you just kind of, kind of focus more on what you're doing with your hands and where your positioning is. I knew I was hitting him, so I was fine. But sorry if it looked a little janky. And good job from our other Li Ming, focusing on the core, and I think that's what I need to do as well. Oh no. Man, we didn't quite get it. 23%. Yeah, let's get up the uh, the stats here and see what we're doing. Not terrible. Our Vala's doing great. on rising as long as we maintain our uh, siege control we'll be able to continuously push having having this one extra minion really does help oh god I zoned out for a second there oh, nice oh I zone out, get the kill, and then die the last second right before I can get a potion. That's totally my bad. That's what happens when you look at your phone for a second while you're playing. Just trying to coordinate my next game with my buddy. Not trying to leave anybody hanging. Alright, Imperius is doing fine. i probably chalk that up to the great healing from Deckard. Uh, that's really the big weakness of our opponent's build is they don't have a true healer. Zul'jin can heal himself, Lunara can heal herself, Tychus can a little, if you kind of go that build. Um, and Zarya can certainly act as a pseudo-healer if you go the right talents. Yeah, we don't need the rudeness. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty, that's generally considered like a, kind of a rude thing to say, but if he just doesn't know, then of course it's not rude. Just keep hitting at max range, and we'll keep getting the resets on our cooldown. Yeah, you came to the wrong neighborhood, Zarya. You got blown up. Don't want to stand in the nuke. Oh, we're out of mana. Whew. Boy, I need that. Not trying to be greedy with the health potions for sure. Want to make sure everyone gets one. Where to? Oh God, no! Why had I gone towards the? Potion, I probably would have been fine. Twenty-three percent. Imperius might be able to pull a play out here. He's standing on top of potions. If he had stood and fought here, he had like a nice little four potion deal to fight on. He might have been able to get a pick, but he went for it. And I think we're going to lose our fort here. Pretty pretty guaranteed. How does this feel? All right then. Your fort has been destroyed. All right, let's get here and start slinging. Fire at will. Oh no. Get me out. Enemy 
Dang. Well, I got solo ulted. I don't feel bad about that. It was a one for one trade. And Zarya's ult can be a real, you know, team fight game changer. So having her use it just to kill me, but then I still get a kill anyway. You know, it's it it's actually a trade I feel like in our favor. Everyone's back up. They can't really push because we did so much damage to them, and they don't have an ult that allows them to swing team fights. Also, I mean, you know, Tychus popped his ult to drop a nuke on me, so there was a lot there. It's just so difficult playing with Sergeant Hammer's thing on the on the board. When it just continuously orbits like that. And we can see it. If you look down here, you'll see the uh, the rocket shooting. Just gonna kinda stay out of its trajectory. But in the middle of a team fight, it's hard to do. Managed to make a little play there, that was cool. Doing my best not to suck. Get out of here. Yeah. Unfortunately, Zarya can kind of reach us. So we need to move whenever she's just chasing us like that and like not missing a single attack. Um, we need to like zigzag. That's the only way we're going to get away from that. Oh no, I teleported. Oh god. Put a nice thousand damage there on Tychus in one shot. Let's get the knockback, and I guess we missed. I could have sworn I hit that. Back up just a bit. Get mounted. Sometimes just gotta throw it for the damage. Wouldn't have been surprised if Lunara was trying to sneak up there. Yeah, she is. She's trying to get an angle on us. We have pretty ridiculous range, though. Like that. Let's make sure our team gets the globe. We didn't. <laughs> Too slow. Let's not stand in the rocket. And anytime we hit a hero like that, a soft, squishy hero, right before the fight even starts, we kind of force them out of the fight. Okay, we're out. Need to clear out some of that chaff. Nice. Well, that's kind of our opening there. Dang, try to get that heal for Imperius. It didn't work. And no doubt, Zul'jin has the talent that lets him uh, move faster whenever he attacks. So he's not really a viable hero to run from. We really need to come over here and win. Because eventually we're going to lose one of these fights, and then we're just going to lose. Yeah, anyone helping me is fine. I don't mind dying there. Let's win. How fitting. The game is won by Deckard. Well, that was a cool one, guys. Check out the final scores. Lee Ming and I did pretty great damage. Vala really did awesome. Kind of a carry there. And grats to uh, Imperius for being able to tank that game and for Deckard to be able to heal.
But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. I hope you enjoy these Heroes of the Storm ARAM videos um, because I certainly enjoy playing. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.